praise the Lord. Father God, I give you thanks. I give you the honor, the glory, and the praises, my God. I thank you because you are such a merciful God. Hallelujah. My God, there is none like you and none cannot take your place. Cover me under your blood right now. Let your Holy Spirit take its place, God. Anoint every word that coming from my mouth. My God, it's not my will, but it's your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You take your place, my God, as I place you in the highest place, my God. Cover the studio under your blood. Cover Grenada, Karekopitimatic under your blood. You have mercy, O oh God, and have your way, my God, Father God. For you, God, never give us more than what we can carry and you in control of every situation you are the creator of the universe of the heaven and the earth and God you knows what you are doing my God and Lord I want to say thank you today God for your goodness and your mercies you have your way cover every area my God in this land under your blood government department hospital my God the prison my God everywhere I God under your blood we thank you for your blood that never loses its power, your blood that never loses its stain, my God. There is awesome power in your blood. There is amazing power in your blood. Somebody got to wake up and believe who you are and you are still the same mighty powerful God who is in control over the earth, my God. Take your place, Lord, in Jesus' name. Heal those that are sick, oh God, in the hospital and at home. Those that are broken hearted oh God in a time like this oh God based on the situation that take place my God heal those that are broken hearted you take control strengthen them and encourage them that you are God my God and you God need the attention of your people have your way this day Lord in Jesus mighty name Amen. Hallelujah. Evangelist John Patterson. Hallelujah. My God, one who knows the God, amen, that we are serving is an awesome God. We got to get ready. We got to be careful. Amen. You know, um, first I want to say thanks to the Grand Lake workers. I want to say God continue to bless you. You have been doing such a great work. Amen. You're trying your best all over in the night to see that people get light lots of damage lots of ugly situation out there but you are fighting very hard may God continue to strengthen you and bless you Grand Lake workers amen hallelujah yes I want to say that our God is an awesome God I, I hear most time people say is oh, um, maybe every 20 years we might be getting a hurricane. Amen. But that will never be so anymore because of the wickedness of mankind on this earth. Too much witchcraft workers, too much wickedness. The Bible said the heart of mankind is desperately wicked and we are grieving the Holy Spirit command somebody. We forget that God exists. We got mad and contrary full of materialistic. We don't, we don't care about God anymore. Some of us go to church because we have to go to church. But but we don't we don't really have that love and that passion, that fear of serving God anymore. We don't respect God anymore. So if God have to touch the churches, he will do what he has to do because he's God. Amen. Nobody can not stop God. And even if you pray for hours, amen, God will do what he have to do. Amen. We serve it a big God. It is time that we wake up, hallelujah, and trust God. Wake up and live a life that is pleasing to God. Turn away from those wickedness. Turn away from those witchcraft workers. Turn away from those Nicomancy. Turn away from those palm readers. Turn away from the things that is getting you astray from God. Amen. It is time. Begin to seek God. Begin to trust God. Begin to allow the fire of God. Amen. To walk through you. Begin to allow the living water of God to flow through you. Amen. Begin to have the joy of God. 
God within you that joy, that cup of joy that will keep on overflowing, never run dry. How could it happen in the world, through the world, the knowledge, amen, for without knowledge, we all will be perished and knowledge is power. People got to get back in that world. People got to get back in that room, amen, that special room with God where we can have an encounter with God, where we can hear God speaking to us, amen, hallelujah. The <clears throat> He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide in the shadow. Do you want to really abide in the shadow of the Almighty? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is waiting. Nobody wait on God. Nobody wait on God. God is waiting for you to say yes to your will and to your way. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speak to me with my whole heart, Heart, I will agree. Oh, I want to say yes uh, to your will, God. Not to our will. Not to our way. Not just going to church uh, and forsaking the truth. No, no, no. It's either we walk in the narrow way or we walk in the broad way. But if there is no in between where God is concerned. We got to get that straight. So we're going to start getting some hurricane regular. Amen. We got to prepare ourselves. We're going to be on the lookout that that it is coming and Grenada we're gonna give God thanks right now but we got we got it coming again amen we got to get ready somebody got to know who God really is somebody got to stop taking God for granted God is calling upon us to come back to come to him amen hallelujah Praise the Lord. He didn't die on the cross for all of us to go to hell. No, no, no. He died on the cross that we can call upon him, trust him, and have eternal life. Walk in his will and in his way. Oh, come on. God is too sweet. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we are serving. Amen. Praise the Lord to Grenada, to Kariku, Pity Matnik. I want to say God continue to bless us, keep us, and protect us. Amen. Continue to keep your eyes to those that are steadfast in God. Continue to keep your eyes up on Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Look out for God's intervention at any time. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is not a wicked God. God is a just God. But when he realized that we are going too way wild, he will put in his intervention. God could interrupt. Hey, hallelujah. In our lives at any time we could set down how many plants we want to set down God but God could interrupt amen he could stop the plan he could break up our plans and change it around this is God hallelujah he said in his words whom he loves he chastises and what he wants when we go into the chastising we give him thanks it might be difficult but we got to say thank you Lord hallelujah praise him God is our shelter and our strength, always ready to help us in the time of trouble. And yes, Carico, um, Pitymatic, God is ready to help you and all those that are devastated. God is ready to help you in a time like this. Amen. Called upon him. I, I look at um, a couple video. When things happen, instead of people say, have mercy, Lord, you're hearing obscene language coming out from the mouth of people. What is it really going on in the world? No respect for others. No respect in the neighborhood. No no respect for God anymore. You're going to tell me that God will just leave everything like that? No. God will put in. We, come, we, we become disrespectful. Lawlessness. Amen. Hallelujah. And God wants us to change our ways, our behavior, our attitude. Amen. Hallelujah. Always remember that big, mighty, powerful God. He above. Amen. And he listen. He take record. 
Hallelujah. So we will not be afraid. Let us not, to those who know God, will not be afraid. Amen. If the earth shaken, hey, hallelujah, that is what happened with that hurricane. Amen. If the earth shaken and the mountain fall into the ocean, hallelujah, depth, we shall not be afraid. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the word. Come on, what happened there? If you're reading the Bible, everything is biblical. Some of you might say you don't believe in the Bible. That's up to you. But the word of God is sharp and powerful. Amen. It is there for our knowledge and our learning. Amen. All what we want, it is in the Bible. Amen. Even all the other books that was made in the world, is, is begin from the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us respect the word of God because God used special men to write the Bible. He couldn't use any and anybody like me and you who full of sin. Amen. Hallelujah. And didn't, didn't have no wisdom. He used special people to write. To write the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So even if those things happen, praise him, I will continue to trust the Lord. And that is what God wants from us. You see what he did to Job? My God, he allowed the devil to strip Job naked. Job began to, body begin to fall of sword. Amen. He wasn't in a good condition at all. Amen. Hallelujah. But Job said, even if the enemy slay me, I will continue to serve the Lord. This is the kind of faith that God wants us to have believe in him. Amen. So even if the mountain fall into the ocean, we will continue to trust the Lord. The Lord mighty is with us. Amen. Though everything that God don't love us. Though everything that God is not with us. Amen. Why you think he died for us? Why you think he died for the world? You think he died for we to go to hell? No. He died for we. Amen. That we can have forgiveness and salvation and healing all what we want we can go to god he he was laid on on the cross for us he paid for all our dirty penalty our sins everything he paid for on the cross of calvary so we can go to him at any time hallelujah praise the lord Come and see that the, what the Lord has done. Amen. See what amazing thing he has done on earth. Amen. Hallelujah. God could do anything at any time. Amen. You want to believe that God was not in the, in the hurricane? Oh, yes, because he's the creator of the universe. He's the one that creates the heaven and the earth. Nothing cannot take place without God intervention. Amen. So that's the God we serve. He knows what he's doing. He's drawing our attention. He wants us to come to him. He don't want us to go our own way, doing our own thing, putting our, our, our trust in material things. Amen. If he have to mash up the churches, he will mash up the churches when things is not going right. Amen. That's the God that we serve. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For men to check themselves and begin to walk in the right path with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See what amazing thing he has done on earth. Amen. He stopped wars all over the world. Amen. And he knows when to stop it. He break bows. He destroys pairs and set shield free. God could do all things. Amen. That's a big God that we are serving. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In other words, the psalmist is saying that is in Psalms 46. Psalms 46. When you get a time, you must read Psalms 
46. It's a very encouraging chapter. Amen. When you are depressed and going through so many situations, one after the other, you can go and read that chapter and gain encouragement. Amen. Through the word of God. Amen. Because you know sometimes we go through a lot of trials and tribulation. And don't go through it without, without God. Go through it with God. He will help you overcome. Amen. In Jesus name hallelujah God is able to do all things and control everything amen and so because God has everything under control God has everything under control people of Grenada Karaku and Pity Matnik to the nationwide God has everything under his control because he is the founder and the creator of the heaven and the earth, the whole wide world. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Man may say what they want, but God have the final say. Amen. You see, when man was looking out for the hurricane, God said he didn't read yet. God allowed it to come in his timing, not in man's timing. Man may think that he come in their, in their timing. No, it is God's timing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So God have everything under his control. The psalmist said, which is the one who wrote the Psalms, be still and know, amen, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know the kind of God that is on your side. God is able to meet every need to protect you, amen, from every attack of the enemy. God is able, but he would not do it if you don't give him the privilege. You must trust him, amen. You must give him your heart. What do you think God wants? God wants all our heart hallelujah god wants our heart amen he wants us to live up to his standard amen if you read from the new testament way back up to revelation god wants our attention amen he wants us to be faithful to him he wants us to call upon him he wants us to cry out to him he wants us to read his words and know what he wants what he require of us amen and everything is in the b-i-b-l-e in the bible all we got to do is to read and ask god for the power of understanding amen and god will give it to us amen there is nothing god is going to withhold from us to we that diligently seeking him amen and living for him Praise the Lord. What an awesome God. Be still and know, amen, that he is God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In that sense, it doesn't mean inactive or complacent. And that is our problem. Hey, hallelujah. That is our problem on earth and in the churches. We become very complacent. Amen. And that is what we become comfortable in our comfort zone. Amen. We don't trust God much. We don't seek God much. We don't pray that much. Amen. And prayer and reading the word is what going to help us to walk from victory to victory. Amen. We must hide the word of God in our heart. Amen. Hallelujah. We cannot become com complacent. Amen. We got to continue trusting God. We got to continue praying and waiting. And even while we waiting, we going out there. We doing the things that God wants us to do. Telling others about him, the good news, what he has done. Amen. How God can save us. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to be active doing his work. We cannot sit down there and say, I'm waiting on God. Which God you waiting on? 
God is waiting on you to make way for you and to turn things around for you. Amen. Hallelujah. So I trust in God this wake up call and the others to come will help us to have a, a close relationship with God. Not with the devil, but with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 46 is a powerful psalm. Although all the psalms in them is powerful, but some of the psalms is very awesome. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It means waiting with assurance. Amen. <clears throat> some of us wait, and when we realize that God answer is a little bit slow what we do we go to palm readers we go to the obia man we go to nicomancy we go all about amen to get answers which we are destroying our own life amen and bringing all wicked spirit in our home destroying our children home because every time you visit these people they always have all spirit around you bringing them right inside of your home we got to be careful grenada wake up amen and do the things that is right hallelujah turn to jesus praise the lord amen wait on god god word is sweet and sure and powerful wait on god amen you're seeking god for something don't stop seeking him you're trusting god for something don't stop trusting him amen keep on trusting Trust in him until you get the answer. Amen. Sometimes he answer you immediately. Sometimes he might take a little while, but God is an on-time God. Hallelujah. He's an on-time God. He knows when to put in his intervention. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Be of good courage. Carico and Pity Matnik and all. All the other places that are destroyed at this time be of good courage amen be strengthened in the word of god if you never take time to read the word may, the, may god bless your heart and you see it necessary to read the word and gain strength from the word of god may god open up our eyes hallelujah that we will see him oh god in the spiritual realm all cataract will be be remove from our eyes and we will begin to see God in the in in, in the clear way where he really want us to see him praise the lord thank you jesus my god hallelujah it means waiting with assurance, knowing that God is working things out for your good. God will walk things out for our good. Who else will do it? The witchcraft workers? Not at all. Only God will walk things out for us, for our good, to those who trust him. All things work together for good to those that love the Lord, those that are called, amen, hallelujah, those that are walking in the spirit, not in the flesh, amen. So all men and women of God, hallelujah, if you know you are walking path in the flesh and path in the spirit, you got to stop it because you know that is wrong, Sometimes most of you cannot even preach <clears throat> a proper message right now because of your lifestyle. Amen. Because of the things that you are doing, you cannot be a good shepherd. Amen. You cannot teach about sin because you live in sin. Amen. Some of you preach in the churches, but in your home is calamity. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to be so careful. Amen. Continue to trust God. Let us remain steadfast in God. Let us build our treasure in the word of God. Command it is time that we go back, go back in that court room of God. Amen. Where we can see God for who he really is. Hallelujah. Our God is, is awesome. And God is 
speaking to our heart. He is speaking, but we became so disobedient and rebellious that even if we've been convicted, we kind of are brushing it out. We don't want to accept it. But if we cannot accept it, God intervention will come. Hallelujah. But we cannot get away from it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What an awesome God we are serving. It means that while you're waiting, you trust that God is behind the sin. Walking on your behalf, trust him because he's behind you, behind the situation, behind what you are going through, and he's going to walk things out for you. Have a little faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. We must have faith. A lot of us praying and praying, and we're not seeing anything happening. Is it your faith is not there? Without faith, it is impossible. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's hard to be still and wait on God when you really need him to move. <coughs> Praise the Lord. But we have to wait. He's an on-time God. He came to Lazarus in the right time. Not when his sister wanted him to come. He came when the time he had to come. He's an on-time God. Amen. Hallelujah. So just Pray and wait and trust that he is going to walk things out for you. He can walk it out, but just put your trust in him. Hallelujah. My God, we thank you. It can be hard things to do when your family finance is in trouble. You're going to so many things. Debt in the family, crisis in the family, situation after situation. And you, you that is the time you really need God. But you cannot get the answer at the time. You need him. Wait upon him. He is walking things out for you. God don't think like you and you cannot never be God. We got to wait upon him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we might be in critical situation. Amen. Destruction is along the line, but wait. Hallelujah. Oh God, he will walk things out for us. We likely want to handle the situation to find solution. Anytime you want to handle the situation for yourself, you want to end up in trouble. Because once again, once you are a believer and you want to handle the situation in your own self, you're going to always end up in problem. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You cannot find solution for your problem. The problem don't belong to you. It belongs to God. That's the reason why he died on the cross for us. Amen. That we can put everything on his shoulder. His shoulder is broad enough to carry everything and to solve every problem for us. But when God is not moving or speaking, amen. When you cannot hear God moving or speaking at the time, amen. When he he seems <clears throat> to be taking ever to work it out. Hallelujah. That may be a sign for you to be still. When you realize it's taking a lot of time, just behave and wait and be still that he's working something out for you beyond the sins. God wants to build your faith. Amen. How then could your faith build if you don't go through trials and tribulation? Amen. And develop your testimony. Whatever the reason, you have to learn to trust the plans of God. Amen. At that time, you don't go to brother, uncle, mommy, parent, nobody to ask. You wait on God. You trust 
God. Amen. Some of us run into too many different people. Amen. When, when situation arise, it's like we don't believe in our own self. We don't have faith in our own self. We don't trust our own self. So we run into this one, run into that one, speak into this one. And everybody giving you a different verdict. But trust God and God alone and wait upon God. Hallelujah to God. Be the glory, great things he has done. God is your strength. Kareku, Grenada, Pitmatnik. Amen. All those who are hearing or listening to the sound of my voice. God is your strength and your shield. Hallelujah. Put your trust in him. In a time like this, open up your eyes and trust him. Hallelujah. Evangelist Joan Patterson from the New Awakening Ministry situated in Telescope St. Andrews. Amen. To Grenada Karekupiti Matnik. May God continue to bless us all. May God continue to open doors and make way for us in a time like this. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. National and international National. God bless us all. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. I'm no longer a slave.